BBC News with Moira Alderson. The United Nations General Assembly has voted to suspend Russia from the UN's Human Rights Council over violations of human rights and atrocities in the Ukrainian city of Bucha. The expulsion was approved with 93 votes for, 24 against and 58 abstentions. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has hailed what he called a growing coalition of countries united to support Ukraine against Russia's invasion. Speaking after the alliance's meeting of foreign ministers, Mr Blinken said Washington was sustaining and building its pressure on Moscow amid further credible reports of torture, rape and killings by Russian forces. New economic sanctions have been announced against Russia by the G7 Group of Advanced Economies. In Washington, both houses of Congress have voted to end normal trade relations with Russia and its ally, Belarus. President Putin's spokesman has admitted that Russia has sustained what he called significant losses of troops in the war in Ukraine. In an interview with Sky News, Dmitry Peskov did not specify a figure but called the losses a huge tragedy for Russia. The United States Senate has confirmed Katanji Brown-Jackson as the first black woman to become a Supreme Court judge. The Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said this was a great moment for America. The Supreme Court in Pakistan has said Sunday's dissolution of Parliament was unconstitutional and has ordered the lower house to reconvene on Saturday. Parliament will then be able to hold a no-confidence vote, which the Prime Minister Imran Khan is likely to lose. Insurgent forces in Ethiopia's Tigray region say the aid they've received will do little to help the millions on the brink of starvation. And one of the most unlikely comebacks in golf history is underway in the US, with Tiger Woods teeing off at the Masters tournament at Augusta in Georgia. BBC News.